Why in the world would borrowers work with private lenders instead of banks? Ray Burkhalter here with REI Funding Partners, and today's video is a MythBuster edition because that question is out there. Why would borrowers work with private lenders when they could just go to a bank? So we're gonna go through the main reasons why borrowers would. They don't always, but in many cases, and especially our ideal, ideal borrowers, do prefer to work with private lenders. So let's jump right in. So the first thought is somebody must be desperate, right? To pay higher than a bank rate. They might, might pay 10 to 12% interest at a private lender when they could go to a bank and get seven or 8% interest. Why would they do that? Uh, only someone that's desperate for money and it's like a loan shark situation. That's not it at all. There's really some very interesting reasons that people have. And in particular, we, we say people, and these are people behind the loans, but many private lenders are doing what's called a business to business loans. So they're business loans, not consumer loans. And so the loans we, that, that we make here at our company are typically made to an LLC, sometimes a corporation, but always to an entity. So these entities are specialized borrowers for us. Let me share more. When it comes to closing a really good real estate deal, um, if you're not in real estate, you may not know this one, but if you're a real estate investor, you know this one very well. When it comes to how fast you can close on the property, speed matters. When there's a great deal hanging out there and somebody's gonna get a property at, at 20, 30, 50, hundred thousand dollars maybe it's it's a larger property or commercial property and somebody's really getting a great discount because they can close quickly and they can take care of the seller's problems it's the first one who can get the deal closed is the one that gets the contract and gets the closing and gets that great deal so private lenders can typically close quickly and that matters a tremendous amount to our borrowers so what are we talking about here when we say close quickly? Well, a traditional bank closing time could easily be 30 days or more by the time it makes it through all of their processes, all of their channels, all of their committees. And that's what they're good at. That's one reason they can offer such a uh, low interest rate is because of how they're set up and, and how they do things. Uh, but with private lenders, sometimes private lenders being smaller, more nimble, less approvals, um, and sometimes just a, a simpler process. I know at, at our company, we can typically close in 10 days or less from the time that the loan application comes in. So in this case, when there's a, a borrower that has a great deal under contract, there's definitely an advantage for private lending. So that's closing time and the fact that they're not, not, not desperate uh, from any reason other than, hey, I need to close quickly to get the deal done. A second point uh, that some people think, well, if, if these borrowers are coming in and paying a hard money lender or a private money lender, they must have terrible credit, right? Uh, that's the only reason they can't go to a bank is because the bank's gonna pull their credit score and the score looks terrible. But let's take a deeper look into that. And I love looking at uh, real life scenario. So the fact is many, many, many of the people who come to private lenders do have credit options. They don't have credit that's in the tank. So obviously we would never share um, anyone's actual name and, and details, but what we can do is share some actual scores um, and this is, these are four recent ones from projects that we have funded. So these are real borrowers, real scores, um, and you can see the numbers here. So scores in the 635, um, uh, that's going to be a little lower than most banks would work with. But that score number two is 744. Banks would drool over that score. Um, and number three over here, 676. Banks will, will deal with that score. It's not their, their favorite in, in the 600s, but that's still a good bankable score. Um, and then, you know, look at this one on number four, 775. Um, so 
many people that come to private lenders have great credit because they are savvy business owners and they're doing good business. They just need a loan and they need it fast and they need it for some other reasons that we're going to cover in a moment. But it's definitely a myth buster to think that people only come to private lenders if their credit's in the tank. So uh, number three, many people just think that banks are always the best option because they have the cheapest money. Sometimes they are the best option. And at our company, if, if they are the best option and the borrower can go to them, we'll put them in contact with a good banker. We want the people that, are, that we're the best option for. So let me show you one of the things that I mean. Banks are really, really good at lending on properties that are ready to move into. They don't always have the setup to deal with properties that need to be remodeled or, or maybe some bigger renovations. So the type of project definitely matters depending on a bank and a private lender. So what banks see is a property like this one on the left, something that needs some repairs, some updates, um, definitely some landscaping and cleanup there, but banks don't really like to see that. You know, they, they want to see a property that's already finished, but with us uh, being, being a full-time private lending company, the value add projects are something that we specialize in. So we love to see a property that needs some repairs, the borrower's getting it at a discount, they have a clear plan uh, to renovate, they have a construction budget ready, all the things that they're going to do, what it's going to cost, and they have the expertise to do it. So this is what our borrowers see on this side. When the bank sees something ugly, they see the finished product, and so do we. Um, we actually have to look at both and consider both, but we base the final value off of what the final property uh, condition is going to look like. So our borrowers are professionals at making houses look like new again. So the type of project definitely factors in and for borrowers who have renovation projects like the people that we specialize in, banks don't like those, we love them. So here's just a nice little quick visual of why our borrowers choose private lenders over banks. So when it comes to fast closings, banks don't win that when private lenders do. When it comes to concerns about the highest credit score, Banks don't like scores uh, that are anywhere near uh, low, uh, but we as private lenders will look at the facts behind the score. Um, were there foreclosures? Were there bankruptcies? Were there a series of late payments? What happened to make the score low? So private lenders win in that situation. And finally, property condition. Uh, banks really favor properties that are in pristine, move-in ready condition and private lenders favor properties that are being purchased at a discount and that are going to have forced appreciation through remodel. So for the kind of borrowers that we work with, again, private lenders check all of the boxes and it's a great fit and partnership between these borrowers and private lenders like ourselves. So that's it for today. Definitely more to come in this video series. The next topic that's coming up, how safe are private money loans? We look forward to digging into that one. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or comments through there, if there are other questions that you have about why borrowers would choose private lenders to work with, I'd love to see those in the comments and we'll definitely uh, respond to those. If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, uh, we'd love for you to subscribe and see new content that we have coming out on this little known, little understood topic, but very powerful one that the wealthy know about and use to their advantage. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and God bless.